All right, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the street market. Um, I know I said I was going to do a short video last time, and I completely failed. It ended up being like 20 minutes long. So I'm going to try to go for another another short, this time really short video. So I'm going to keep this uh, uh, this segment short, and I'm going to call it um, uh, safety. We're going to call it safety. Safety with street market. So one thing that I've caught myself doing a number of times and uh, I'm gonna give you a little backstory. So, when um, I used to be a saw gunner in uh, in the Marine Corps, in Afghanistan, and uh, back in uh, back in 06, I think I said 05 in the last video that I, uh, I, w I was in Afghanistan. But it was actually 06, January to about May. Um, but in 06, um, I remember uh, we were in this valley and we were provided security. And I remember, you know. They teach us uh, these safety rules with uh, with our weapons, and basically, uh, I'll give you one one example. It's uh, keep your finger straight and off the trigger until you intend to fire. Meaning, you know, don't ever, don't put your finger on that trigger unless you're, you know, you know you're about to fire, about to engage. And so, I kind of follow the same principles with my tools, and I want the reason why I, uh, I bring that up. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me finish that story. So I was a young 20 year old, I believe. And, um, and I remember I was in this valley providing security and I had this bad habit of, of disobeying that rule. And so I had my, I used to just tap on the trigger like that. And, um, and so I was up on this roof, um, kind of pointing towards a, a mountain. And, um, and I had my finger on the trigger and I don't know what came over me. I just lost concentration. And next thing you know, I fired my weapon and I put out like a three like a three round burst I mean it was a it was just a quick burst and I fired off into a mountain hopefully I didn't hit anybody hopefully I didn't kill any goats I mean uh, no nope. pretty sure nobody got hurt but somebody could have gotten hurt and, um, and it would have been a would have been an accident obviously but it would have been um, a, you know a misfortunate you know a accident uh, could have been a tragedy uh, luckily nothing happened but uh i remember that was a tough lesson for me and so from that point on i had never disobeyed that rule so i always took that that rule uh serious um and i apply that rule even with the dry weapon even when i know the weapon doesn't have a, a magazine um around the knit i mean i don't care you never point you know you never you just never do it so kind of same thing you never point it at any at any anything you don't intend to fire um you know, you keep it on safe until you're ready to fire. So it's a, uh, um, it's something that I take serious. And so, how does that translate to the lawn care business? Well, this right here is a very dangerous weapon. Right here. Now I'm gonna disobey my rule for the sole purpose of this video, but sometimes it's very tempting to do this number. Don't ever, ever do that. Never grab this weapon, never grab this tool, but right there, never. I don't care if it's not connected, I don't care if it's off, you just never do it. Because all it does is it takes one time, you know, for you to make the mistake of it being on and your dumbass not being, you know, not being aware that it's on. And God forbid, you know, the you pull the trigger and it cuts off your fingers. So it reminded me because I had to grab it from, from the back seat and, and I kind of, you know, this was, this was sticking out. So I had to grab it from this end and I remember just feeling uncomfortable to grabbing it from this end because I know better. Um, so I, I man, if, especially if you got employees, if you got employees, really, really stress that. I mean, you see them grabbing by that, by, you know, by that end, give them the biggest ass chewing because at the end of the day, it's better for them to get an ass chewing than it is for them to lose their, their fingers, their money makers. In this industry, this is this is our fine tuning right here. So, anyway, that's the small segment I had for you guys. Um, I thought it's I thought it's very important, especially with these guys. I'm sure you can go online and check out the pictures of of the aftermath of you know worst case scenario. Keep that in mind. All right, guys, be safe out there. Take it easy.